Hello. In this session, we will look at how you can launch a Windows EC2 instance. So uh, you can launch any type of instances you want. You can launch a Linux EC2 instance. You can launch a Windows EC2 instance. Uh, you can launch a Mac OS instance. Whatever you want, we have the options available. Now, in the last couple of sessions, we looked at uh, uh, how you can uh, uh, connect your Linux EC2 instances. So in one of the previous session, uh, we looked at how you can launch your Linux instances. And then we also looked at how you can connect to those uh, to that particular Linux EC2 instance. Uh, we looked at a couple of methods. One is using the SSH command and then we also looked at how you can use the PuTTY tool. Again, you can use any of those options, whatever you're comfortable with, you can use it. In this particular session, we will look at how you can launch a Windows EC2 instance. Once again, before we start off with the session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, if you go to the console here, this is the Linux instance that I'm uh, running from the previous sessions. You can click on launch instances. Now to launch your Windows instance, almost all the options remains the same. Uh, the main uh, uh, changes you will see is the AMI. All right. So the AMI in this case will be your Windows. So let me give it a name. So let's call this as uh, Windows Server and uh, we are going with the Windows AMI. So make sure you're using the Windows AMI and make sure you're using the free tier eligible so that you don't pay any money. If not, you will get, uh, end up paying cost for this. Then your instance type will be t2.micro. So we are going with one CPU core and one GB RAM and then your key pair. So now coming to the key pair, you can reuse your key pair. It is not necessary that you have to generate one key pair for one server. We can have one key pair for multiple servers. So we can reuse the key pairs. All right. So this is the key pair we had created for the Linux server. We can use the same key pair for any server you want. So let's reuse the same key pair and then your firewall. So for now, we will just go with the default uh, security group that we have. But uh, in the next session, I will be showing. So you'll need to add one rule for this, which will be your RDP. So if you can remember in the previous one of the previous session uh, for connecting to the Linux machine, we had added your SSH rule. Likewise, to connect your Windows machine, we will need to add the RDP rule. I will show that in the next session. Your storage by default, you'll get uh, 30 GB and uh, the rest of the things we are going with the default options and the number of instances remains one and then click on launch instance and this will begin launching your windows ec2 instance now one important point to remember so this is what we have launched so you can ignore this i had launched this for uh, example purpose but this is the server that we have launched so let me filter this so that we don't have any confusion so that's the server we have launched now, one very important point to remember with your Windows server is that if you want to connect with your Windows server, though the status shows running, to connect your Windows server, you will need to wait for few minutes. That is at least four minutes before you can connect to the server. Why? Because your Windows server, here we get a UI-based um, uh, virtual machine. Unlike your Linux, where it's only a command-based uh, virtual machine, with your Windows, we get a UI-based virtual machine. And that UI needs to be prepared. And for that, AWS takes some time. And that's why you'll have to wait for some time before we connect to the server. But uh, in the meantime, we can uh, talk about some of the details. So here you have the instance type. That's the status. Uh, here you can see the public IP, the private IP, the DNS. Um, you can see in which VPC this is running, the subnet, the AMI, the AMI name, the keeper that has been attached. Uh, you can look at the firewall that has been attached. You can look at the networking details, the storage details. All these details will be available for you. All right. Uh, connecting to the Windows instance, I'll be showing it in the next session. But pretty much that's how you can launch your Windows EC2 instance. So again, it's very easy. Uh, there are only a couple of important changes. One is your AMI and the other would be your firewall thing. The firewall I'll be showing you in the next session. The other difference you might see is your storage. With the Linux EC2 instance that you launch, by default, you will get 8 GB of storage. And if it's your Windows machine, you'll get by default 30 GB of storage capacity. Other than that, all the other options remain the same. Uh, you can customize it the, the way you want it, but that's how you can launch your Windows EC2 instance. In the next session, I'll show you how you can connect to this Windows instance. But that's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.